medals here at the X Games. David Higgins, he's got the white stripe down the side of his Subaru WRX STI and then Reese Millen on the rear left hand side. Do you want to be on the inside of turn one? Do you want to be on the outside of turn one and try and sweep past them and then potentially have the inside line for the left handed turn two? That is the big question as we are going to go rally cross racing for a gold medal here at the X Games in downtown LA. Our eight drivers, USA, UK, Finland, we've all got lined up, we've got eight cars on the grid, over eight laps, and we are about to see three and a half thousand horsepower, go! Wheel to wheel stuff as they charge down to the first corner, and Dora beats it! championship these two are fierce competitors and i dare say they don't quite like each other too much so believe me there's going to be words after this but right now tanner is in second place on the track of course he's not taking the joker lap yet doran is dead last out of eight he's 14 and a half seconds down from the leader with the fourth fiesta brad deegan there is the rockstar fiesta there's the second rockstar fiesta and losing time not as tidy as an exit this is top Dave Mira with the Subaru just in shot there. He's technically third. I remind you, Higgins has taken the jump and has taken the joker already. Yeah, sorry for the interruption, Toby, but this is now Brian Deegan's race to lose. He's out front. He can play his strategy as he wants. If he keeps it clean, doesn't hit anything, puts in fast lap after fast lap, it's going to be nearly impossible to catch him. Don't forget, he's in a factory for Fiesta, yes, the fastest car out here today. We've got to see Marcus Gronholm. I reckon, because he's taken the joker and he's closest, that Gronholm could still lead this when the stagger unravels, when Deegan, Faust and Mira take the jump. Faust has just taken the jump. Deegan is leading on the road, but he's got to take his joker lap. We, uh, the light blue best by Fiesta of Marcus Gronholm might just do this. There is Doran. He's limping around. He's not going to get a second gold medal. There is Marcus Gronholm. And there is Travis Pastrana. Pastrana thought, Pastrana gone, Pastrana racing. Yeah, we sort of forgot about Travis and all this action. Travis is uh, putting in uh, really a stellar drive to even be in this at the moment. And he's back there with Reese at the same time. Th that's the stagger, really. That's the stagger, because Faust has taken the jump with Mira and Gronholm, and but Gronholm's in third, so I was wrong. It's great rally cross. It proves the commentators struggle to keep up through the dust and through the horseback. I reckon Pastrana is four with the stagger unravels. Tanner Faust is going to lead this. Oh! And that's Mira gone wide. Gronholm's giving him a love tap, and that means Pastrana could get a medal. He could wow. do it. He could do it. If Travis Pastrana ends up on the podium, you're going to see this crowd erupt here. But the story at the front is really between Tanner Faust and Brian Deegan. Deegan, of course, still out front on track. Tanner really has. Here we are. going to see the merge, see how they come together here shortly. This is Deegan going into the dirt. That's around the bus lot and cutting through the dust. Well, well, well. The Swedish run for Fiesta. Andreas Eriksson, the Swede who won a round in the Global Rally Cross Championship earlier this year here in the US, running these guys. He's leading on the road. Surely Deegan's going to take the uh, take the jump soon. Yeah, we're going to see. He's going to go left. No, he's leaving him for the last lap. So you know what? Come to think of it, that's the right strategy. He's out in clear track with no one in front of him. Run your laps. Keep it clean. Build the gap. Tanner's already done it. He, Deegan's going to build the gap as much as he can. And then we're going to see some real excitement here when they come to the merge. Tanner, of course, is going to come around through the gap. Deegan's going to take the jump at the end, if not on the last lap. And if they come together, it might be some hijinks, some fireworks oh, here. Oh, there is David Higgins. He's limping around. There 
there is your leader. That is Brian Deegan leading this race at the moment. He's got to take the jump now. He has an 11.7 second lead. He cannot afford to lose anything less than 11.7 seconds. This is the biggest jump of his life. Here he goes to the jump. He's just got to keep this clean. Land it. Don't overshoot it, Brian Deegan. Nice and easy. Perfect. Rotate the car in, get on Figueroa, and get the power down. Here we go. That's David Higgins coming into shots. That's David Higgins. He's limping around. The car is damaged. We're trying to find where Tanner Faust is. But Deegan is still leading this one. Where has Faust gone? Cutting through the dust. Deegan leading. Can he be able There's to Tanner do it? in the back. There's Tanner in the back. Deegan's going to do it, I reckon. And Tanner and Marcus run over door to door as they come in here to the double apex turn. Oh, oh Tanner Faust has got the lead. Gron on trying to look. And Deegan still got one more lap to go. Somebody's blown an engine. There's oil pouring onto the exhaust of David Higgins' car. And now, as the exhaust kicks and flames, there comes Deegan. On to the home straight once more. And there comes Higgins, still limping around. Deegan on course. Expect to see the metal militia fans are out of their seats cheering off Ryan Deegan. I cannot believe he's on his way to a gold medal. The freestyle motocross legend. He's got 10 medals already. Brian Deegan in the fourth field that wins the Rallycross gold medal here. And would anybody know? Pastrana's in the wall. Who's going to get second position? Pastrana, he was on course for a medal. If he gets it going in true rally style, he might be able to limp it to the line. I reckon that Faust is going to get second position. But. Brian Deegan takes the gold medal. What a feeling. What another upset that we've had in rallycross racing in X Games here after Liam Doran was victorious in the rally car racing yesterday. And you see it on Deegan's face. Listen, when he told me he was coming back here to win gold, I have to say I was as skeptical as anyone else. But you looked in his eyes and you just had to believe it. He fully believed he was going to come back and take gold. And now he's done exactly that. Brian Deegan takes Rallycross gold medal here in his Ford Fiesta ahead of Tanner Faust and Marcus Bronholm. It is a Ford Fiesta whitewash of the podium. Fantastic. And Travis Pastrana gets fourth position by only half a second, ladies and gentlemen. It was that close for Travis Pastrana to be a medalist here once more at the X Games. That shows you how close Tanner Faust was to not being able to finish because he's limping over the line. Goodness me, that was explosive action right from the start. We saw Liam Doran being punted into the wall at the very first corner by Tanner Faust. You have to say, Emil, we were expecting it. Oh yeah, there's, uh, like I said, no love lost between these guys. You know they weren't going to pull any punches. They've come together already in the European Rallycross Championship, and neither one of those two guys was going to make way for the other. Uh, I can't say that I blame either one. It looked like just one of them racing deals, as the NASCAR guys like to say. As we see Deegan celebrating, and Travis trying to get elevate his foot above it. It's hard to keep him from pulsating, looking for a ride back to the pits. It's surely a bucket of ice. That must be one hell of a feeling. about that well you have to say there's one little piece of good luck that's been riding a little iota that's been riding with Brian Deegan in that Ford Fiesta here this weekend the co-driver's seat has been used by former two-time world rally champion Carlos Sainz his name is still embroidered in the seat maybe a bit of royal Spanish luck Carlos Sainz from España Jen Horsey you're down there with Brian Deegan what does it feel like Brian Deegan, you came here and said you were going to do one better than your silver medal last year, and it's going to be gold for you. How's that feel? That was the highlight of my life. I've done a lot of things on a dirt bike, done a lot of things in a car, but nothing tops that moment when you're X Games and rally across. I was thinking about being Tanner all year, <laughs> and luckily I got lucky off the star, but that's what it takes. And uh, Everything fell my way, and I had to hold it together that whole race. I'd like to thank the team for working so hard. We had a rough go yesterday and this morning. Sometimes you just have to dig deep, and you believe in yourself. I set the goal to win this. I achieved my goal. Now what's next? <laughs> yeah, baby. I got nothing. Sorry.
Well, he leaves eight years between winning one medal to the next. And there's nothing like adrenaline. It's the most powerful thing in the human body. And he, look, he's still shaking. Oh, that's fantastic to see that at least he's human. Militia crew rise up and celebrate Brian Deegan doing it here at X-17. Unbelievable. And Andreas Eriksson, the team boss for all three medal winners in the rally cross here in downtown LA. Brian Deegan getting the gold medal in first position. What a turnaround from yesterday, Emil, when we had three technically X Games rookies taking the podium in the rally car. Yeah. We have an X Games coming up legend, Tanner Faust, and we have a racing legend, Marcus Grunholm, on the podium. What an impressive podium. All rookies we got yesterday, and now all legends. If you think Brian Deegan was excited, this is the reaction of Drew Carlotto, who is the winner of the Ford I Win, You Win promotion. Two winners here, one in the car and one looking trackside here in downtown LA. He has won himself a brand new Ford Fiesta. And excited he should be, that new Fiesta is actually a peppy little car, so congratulations to Drew. Three and a half 